three, two, one, go. Yeah, more and more and peace, love, and happiness. Welcome to BTA Podcast, episode number 28. I am Ali, joined by Gail. Yeah. And that is it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is so sad. For context, I woke up late. And now here we are. <laughs> so, uh, What's up? How's everybody doing? <laughs> Yeah, who's things so first? Let me hear how everybody doing. Who's Sonic Kelly move for? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I'll switch it up. I'll go with a six. Nice. I feel not solid seven. Kelly on a higher frequency. Oh shit, Kelly! Let me let me message Kelly. Let's see if you wanna go. I forget to do that. Um. In the meanwhile, let me know how you're doing on the Hollywood board. <laughs> uh, 12, because I feel like I've I faded in other existence. Nice. I feel the solid. Oh, there's so many options. Yeah. I feel the solid 19. Strong choice, strong choice. I'll go wrong with Balloon Ali. Rest in peace, brother. You know what I should have do? I should have just make one of these pictures, David. <laughs> <laughs> Younger Ali. Yeah, just 24 pictures of me and then just one David. Alright, this week's episode brought to you by the following struggle tweet. Kale, go ahead and read that out. Dudes in Paris, 100. Thank you. Reminder, you can follow us on Twitter at BTA Struggle TWTS for more on that. Please do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That is all we, the intro stuff out to do. We don't have anything for that. Yeah. I didn't actually sit down and come up with anything. Nothing really happened this week. We could follow up from last week. Uh, we talked about the... Was it the Ever Given? The Ever yeah, Given they got... It's partially upload now. Yeah. So this should be good. Um, um, that's, that's all there is to say about that. It's, it's a boat. Like, you can't really say that much about it. Yeah, what happened? And then... Okay. Oh! There's what? COVID stuff. Let me see if I can find that real quick, actually. Because... Yeah, sure, I got a whole bunch of cases. Both from that and Canada, like, impose new rules, so... Let me see if I can find... Uh, the Trinidad stuff, please. But, like, Why are you it, trying to find that? Huh? Yeah, so we can talk about it a little bit, I guess. Like, the biggest thing was, um, well, at least the biggest thing like, we saw people reacting to was that the man, um, what was it, non-government organized sport, which is a fancy way of saying sweat. Yeah. It's just people sweating. The man sweat. <laughs> so if you're going to play football with your friends, get ready to run away. Yeah. I mean, what are you going to do, really? The police arrest you for playing all football? Why are they going to join you and start a sweat with you? Mm. Except they won't, because the government... Uh, actually, I haven't heard from Gary himself in a while, but I know that the PM came out and he was like, yeah, we're going to enforce the, the law a bit more. Yeah. He's going to say... You know what? You're taking it a little bit too lackadaisically now. To which a bunch of my friends was like, oh, so we're gonna have to wear mask inside your house now? <laughs> oh god. I don't mind. <laughs> my sign is reacting up. <laughs> <laughs> Can't seem to find like one single article with um, all the COVID updates. But yeah. So that was the big one. My mother sent me this thing where she was like, the Prime Minister has announced that it'll be lo- um that he'll be locking down beaches, clubs, bars. And then she just sent a file that was a picture and it said happy April Fools. <laughs> nice. 
That's the only April Fool's prank I get on April Fool's. Yeah, that April Fool's was a couple of days ago. Um, what happened? We had Discord had in the little Yachty song pack. <laughs> yeah. Which I could show off right now, actually. Hold up. Yeah, so, you um, could. If I just press this, so if I do that. I did not hear Lil Yachty. Oh, you know what? <gasps> it's because I'm in streamer mode. Never mind. Uh, you can't hear my notification sounds if I'm in streamer mode. That is so sad. That's a damn shame. Yeah. Take more wait for it. It's like for the next week or so, or a little less now, but you can set your notification sounds to Lil Yachty. And Lil Yachty will say something everything. Every time something happens on Discord, and it's very fun. Like, I had it on, like, as soon as I saw the thing, and I kept forgetting that I had it on. So anytime something would happen, I would just get, like, fucking jump scared by Lil Yachty. Very funny. You thought somebody was in your room or something. <laughs> Lil Boat. So, yeah. Um, well, what else is... What else went on with April Fool's? Not much else, really. Not much else. Oh, something did happen that I saw on Twitter earlier. You know the the cashmere side girl, right? Oh, oh god. Do we do we really want to talk about that? I mean, no. Okay, like what I was gonna say is that because she turned eighteen, people were itching to see her OnlyFans, and that's just so creepy. Yeah, that's like that's very predatory behavior i hate to see that yeah like as soon as i saw that was a thing i just muted bad baby like the words like you could do it on twitter i just muted that and it's like yep i'm gonna fucking move on in my life holy shit yeah that's uh, i read a couple of things yeah just calling people out on it yeah why people like that oh wait you know what we can talk about a little nice sex Oh, Montero. Yeah. So if you don't know... Brandon, talk about it. Oh, I did, I did not watch the video. I see that he did, but I did not watch the clip. But for those who don't know, Lil Nas X did this video. And in the video with his uh, hyped up single, he um goes on a stripper pool. Stripper pool takes him straight to hell. Sorry if it doesn't sound like I know what I'm talking about. I only watched this video like once. But... The stripper pool takes him to hell. Then he finds the devil and he gives him a lap dance. And then he becomes the devil or something. Yeah. Yeah. And people will lose their yeah. shit because, oh, well, you know, Christians, they don't like the devil. And seeing the devil in a video made them uncomfortable. And also, no. Lil Nas X is like a black man. Yeah. yeah. It's a whole thing. And people are absolutely losing their shit. And I, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, like to be honest, that wasn't even the weirdest part of the video for me. Which was the weirdest part was him licking his own body with the snake person. I have this like phobia against tongues or something. I just don't like to see tongues. What? Yeah, to so see him, that was like, huh. So like Leia have it where she can't see eyes. Like if she see anything eye related, she's got freaked out. Well they just be doing in Takari go boy. Is it water? <laughs> but yeah, like, so much conservatives were were dying at the fact that a gay black man was riding Satan. Yeah. That's and, well, like, it's As not the first that. time this has happened because historically, Christian parents always just flip out and lose their shit to the, like fucking music videos. So it happened with like I don't fucking know Eminem, metal bands. Uh, there are probably other examples, but like, is music videos not gonna turn your children evil? Bad parenting will. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Like, yeah, is you know, it's hard to like speak about it because you know, there's a mental disconnect there. I think, like, when I see people react to a music video like that, I don't, you know, I don't assume that they're thinking very rationally. 
and it's hard for me to like connect with them on any level other than just saying you're dumb and moving on and maybe that's all we really need to do yep yeah people dumb that is it yeah that's all we could see I mean it's a great song I listened to it it was alright I liked it one thing I don't like is that on the Spotify version, they don't have the best part, which is the part where he is riding Satan's lap. I mean, I'm not gay, but you know. You, you didn't have to stay. Yeah, I'm straight, guys. Not super straight. Oh, God. That's... That's a whole other like basket of wounds. No, we'll, we'll get to that <laughs> some other time. No. We'll get to that when people, more people here. Anyway, both of us hate super straight. Yeah. Just so. Anyways. Just so you all know. <laughs> um, Kelly's. Kelly oh, wait, not. not yeah, she's not responding to me. So I assume she's busy doing something. So, yeah. 11 minutes. 11 minutes. <laughs> that feels like a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> God, can y'all feel the sexual tension through the video? Feel the what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> mom took sugar and spice to the vet. Hey, that man was still calling you? They called me this morning while I was in bed trying to sleep. The vet. They, <laughs> they, um, they tried to call my mom. My mom didn't answer. So they called me instead. And I have to explain to them, I was like, hey, I'm not in the country. I can't really do anything about this right now other than just message my mom. So, like, it's whenever she feels to respond to you, bro. But, yeah. Uh, there's a picture of sugar. Apparently, nice. sugar is 12.8 pounds, so almost 13. Holy crap. Spice is 10 pounds. They're, what a fat cat. They are very large, yeah. What a chunky boy. For some reason, she sent me two pictures of sugar, but none of spice. I don't know why. Maybe she couldn't find spice. Yeah, I'll just send her on a picture of spice. There you go. So yeah. They yeah, received their, um, I think it was booster shots, I'm not sure. Should I say two shots each, whatever. They're doing more shots than me, but... Physically. I I look at that picture of Spice and I was like, that's a nice clock you have on the wall. <laughs> and I realized, wait, <laughs> that's not a clock. Nice. That but clocks would be cool though. What, uh, uh, you don't see them. Ever. Have, have I ever told the story of how I have sugar and spice? No. I think I did on the pets episode, I'm not sure. If I was Perhaps. sure, I could tell it right now, because it's a nice story. But otherwise, I think I told it already. Give us a TLDR. Basically, they were like stray cats outside my house. And my mom just picked them up and put them in a laundry basket. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? I'll just keep them in my room instead. So yeah, they were incredibly okay. tiny, just wandering around. They're like three weeks old. So like they had just opened their eyes. And they decided to just go around stumbling and end up in front of my house. So, yeah. So, um, while how they, they found the same letter, right? Yes. I would assume so because they're the, they were the same size when we got them. Mm. It's so wild how they look very different. You think so? I mean, no, 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 like the fair colors. Yeah, just the fair colors. But that's happened. That's... The pattern looks the same. Yeah. It's a whole genetic thing. Is the reason why, but biology was a long time ago. That was like a couple of years ago. A long time ago. <laughs> okay, three years ago, whoever. I have this video of one of them. I'd saved it from the Discord a while ago, let me get this is the one of sugar on the fridge. No, I think it's spice in a box. Hmm.
But yeah, that's it. Yeah, man. Good talk. Yeah. Podcast over. <laughs> we are fucking 15 minutes in. Oh, we lost you, bud. <laughs> uh, you want to just play chess now? Yeah, let me just find this. Yeah, find our video. I'm going to just ramble for a little bit. Uh, what else going on? So, back home, at my bedroom, and because they're not there anymore, Sugar and Spice are the only ones in it. So they have that entire room to themselves now. Like, Peter and David have their own rooms, so. That's nice. Did your mom just, like, go inside and make sure that they not good? Yeah, like, the door just be open. But, you know, they just eat there, they, they litter box there. Just take over my entire room. That's cool. Oh, my... talk about David. Whoa, talk whoa. about David's room. Oh, David has green carpets and pink walls because his room is watermelon themed. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I want a watermelon themed room. He also has like a custom desk that he painted himself, which I do not have a picture of. So tough luck. But it's alright. It's like a you. it's like a painting of Naruto he did on his desk. I was gonna say everybody said good job, David, but it's Naruto. <laughs> you really you know like Naruto, like what, what you want me to do? Good job, David. No, he's very much a Shonen fan. Likes uh, Naruto, Bleach, My Hero Academia. Uh, I got him into Attack on Titan. He doesn't really like you know any stuff I like. He's very much just typical Shonen fan. Is that fucking Beyblades? Yeah, I can't find a video. <laughs> Alright. Test time. Test time. You already see me lose nine times. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay. Yes. It's too powerful. No. <laughs> okay, send it to me on WhatsApp. Wait, don't even fucking send it to me on WhatsApp. Okay, yeah. Just send it to me on WhatsApp and I'll just send it. <sighs> That's so sad. Now to find him back. John. Let's spell your name wrong. Hey, I'm talking about that lady on LinkedIn. Who spell your name wrong? Yeah, I just got like a random like follow request from a LinkedIn bot. At least I would assume it's a bot. However, it's probably manual because she spelled my fucking name wrong. So like this is like a... a very old lady or something, yeah. I don't fucking know. There we go. Spice in our box. Oh god. Okay, yeah, this video David sent me. <laughs> this is just a video of Spice looking like an like a abomination. Oh, let me send that. Podcast. There we go. I'm playing it for the people. There we go. It looks very comfortable. Love space. Chest time. Chest time. Uh, let me send the challenge. Hold on. Unrated. There we go. Thanks, bud. I don't know how much I can like talk and play at the same time. That's kind of difficult for me. King spawn. Don't worry, I'll talk. I ain't gonna be playing good much any quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else happened in this? Yo, what else happened in this world right now? Uh. I saw Space Jam was trending. I don't know what that was about. Okay, so the trailer for the new Space Jam movie is out starring LeBron James. It's also cameos from uh, Anthony Davis. Um, who else is going to move? Yeah, we have Anthony Davis. We have uh, Damian Lillard. Some other basketball players. So, the movie itself looks fine. I enjoyed the trailer. I see a lot of people that didn't, but whatever. 
I think the movie will be fun. I didn't watch the trailer, but if Lola Bunny ain't looking how I want her to look, then I ain't watching that movie. You talk about this? <laughs> Show me them. Uh, what do bunnies have? <laughs> So many buns, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think that was the wrong move. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's see. So his canal. We talked about that. This side, yeah. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Covid. Talked about that too. Hmm. Um, a lot not going on. Oh. Very uh, timid week. Yeah, I can't lose that. Uh... Oh wait, yeah. Um, Lockon is not here, and this is the first time Lockon has not been here since the very first episode. We back in like August, which is fucking crazy to me. Did you try like messaging him? See if uh, no, no he said in the chat that he might not be able to make it. Well, let me scroll up a bit. Don't know if I can make it today at 12.36. I'm gonna just give him a ping to see if he can like preserve the record. Is he online now? So, yeah, just... oh, look back! He could be fucking double. Hey oh, you Lock made it. Lock. We were literally just talking about how this is the you first episode. You son of a bitch. You might not be here for since the very first one. Yeah, I was thinking that too, but church finished in time and my mother got home quickly. Nice. Don't, don't church. <laughs> don't. All my homies love church. Don't shout the church out. I mean, yes, I am a member of the Catholic Church. That is problematic. Yeah, that problematic. We love I mean, and respect you, we love you, Lachlan. Don't worry. Thank you. So what are we talking about? Are we still podcasting? Yeah. Yeah. Right now. What are we talking about? Um, we play in chess. Okay. Cool. Yeah. We ran out well, of then... shit to talk about. We talked for like twenty minutes. Nice job, guys. Yeah. How about nothing in particular. Okay. No. Okay. Let me recap. We talked about the boat getting unstuck. We talked about Yay. um COVID because of COVID updates. Okay. And then because in Ontario? In Ontario and in Trinidad. Oh, that's yeah. just all around. And then what else? Uh we talked about my cats for a little bit because they got dots today. Shut, 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 sorry about it. Yeah, that explains all the cat pictures in the podcast channel. But yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I haven't thrown down yet. That was a fruitful 20 minutes. That's a very fruitful 20 minutes. Uh, okay, here, here's the picture I was looking for. Because there, I've come to this podcast mainly because I need to share something very important. Okay, go for uh, it. I need to share something that makes me very happy. I need to share it with the world. Better. And that is this picture when it sends. This picture 
of smiling Viola Davis. Now, when I tell you this image gives me so much serotonin every time I see it, it's just, just, I mean, I feel like it speaks for itself, but it's just such a pure expression of joy and just such a pure expression of black joy, uh, especially since, like, I feel like Viola Davis as an actress has always been typecasted as, like, the serious, like, boss lady, like, type character. You know, like, Annalise Keating, Amanda Waller. She's always been put to, like, play those roles of, like, the, the quintessential, like, strong Black woman that's, like, in charge and, like, gets shit done and everything. And it's so rare to see, like, such a vulnerable side of her. And so it's, like, whenever I see this image, it 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 does remind you that, like, for one, people are three-dimensional and two, like, that she is, like, a genuine person. I just feel like a big part of the reason that, like, this image manages to style as much as it did. Excuse me, I had a burp. But, like, it's because it was, of course, also photographed by, like, another prominent Black figure in Hollywood, Regina King. And I feel like it's very, like, telling of the fact that, like, nobody can really, like, portray Black people like other Black people. Because there is such a thing, like, I feel like there is, like, real beauty of, like, Afrocentric art that's made by, you know, actual, like, Black people rather than, like, Afrocentric art that's made for white people. Um, and then that got me, like, on a tangent in my head earlier. Because I was thinking of that new movie that got announced called Them, which, from what I've heard, is made by, like, mostly white, like, producers and, like, writers and, like, all that kind of stuff. And I feel like it's very, you can, like, it's very telling by how, like, uninspired it is. Because I feel like there was, like, this whole notion that, like, nobody knows how to make Black movies. And you didn't see that many Black, like, prominent Black movies in Hollywood. And then Jordan Peele came along, and he was basically the blueprint in terms of making, like, prominent Black stories, like, horror stories, essentially, with, like, Get Out and Us both being fantastic movies. And I feel like everyone else kind of just got lazy, where it was, like, we were, like, seeing that and was, like, cool, now we're getting, like, a new influx of, like, Black movies and all that kind of stuff. But then it also kind of just devolved into, like, now just, like, everyone's trying to make, like, Black horror movies and Black suffering movies. And it's gotten kind of stale really fast. And especially for it to be from the point of view of just, like, white people writing for, like, Black people. Like, white people writing, like, a Black-centric movie around a Black family. And then making it, like, you know, just, like, another cookie-cutter, like, horror movie. Just the twist this time is that the horror movie monsters are actually white people, which Get Out kind of did. But it's literally just the movie about, like, people being harassed by racists and then they framed it like a horror movie which isn't bad on its own you, i feel like you can just tell that it's not really that inspired as a movie and i just feel like there is a real passion oh hey another person so i can get out yeah, of one, one. <laughs> but yeah um it's just me having a great appreciation for there's like a whole long like rant and like discussion and stuff that I could go into based on this, based on like a lot of like, the videos and stuff I've been watching, but I feel like this probably deserves more of like a full episode. It just to me reminds me of why diversity in media is important. And especially like as a black person, being able to see art made by, by black people for black people makes me very happy because for one, it makes you feel seen because they are understanding something that, you know, it's like the black creators understanding something that, um, that the audience that they are trying to get to would also understand that like anyone outside of that group would not understand. And it allows for the telling of, you know, representative stories more easily, which I greatly appreciate because representative stories are important, and especially when you're dealing with like black Americans. Um, I feel like they don't really necessarily have their own space outside of like, I don't know how to probably make this point, but like, I just feel like the space for like, black people in like america because they're so removed from like their roots of like african culture and whatnot i feel like it's important to have like black representation in like prominent like american like western television that does necessarily exist and so when i see black people being given their flowers it's really nice um yeah this has been a long really weird tangent but anyways just look at smiling viola davis this picture makes me so yeah happy. i was about to see like it's also because of fucking smiling viola davis this is how my brain works, but also, like, genuinely, like, this picture, like, I could literally just, like, I would say look at this picture for hours, but it's one of those things where I prefer That's kind of like, creepy, look with. Like, like, yeah. From time to time, just so I could be, like, yeah, you know? Maybe don't stay after it follows, I don't know. Yeah, because, like, I don't want to, like, lose the, like, 
joy that I get from it. It's more so that like you want it to just be a thing where it's like you run into it and it's like, oh yeah, that's beautiful that like I can see this again. I can just inject me with serotonin again. Yeah, cool. All right, fuck you too. <laughs> All right. I don't even know what chat's game out of focus. Well, that's a you problem. This is my podcast now. Okay, Lachlan. <laughs> it does not put it there, problem, because, like, I have to stop talking to, like, fucking think. Yeah, maybe chess during podcast time wasn't the best idea. Oh, because, like, it was only me and Kiel, right? So, like, yeah, it was just fucking play chess. Kiel, what did you DM me? <laughs> like, your lone stuff? Hey, yeah. Hey, oh, you do a second walrus thing. Nice. Me? Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, that's not you. That's a different. That's not me. That's well done, car, Ali. That's a different that's fucking a different car. car. It's a different fucking car. <laughs> that boy saw a car and was like, "That has to be Kale." And I can't give him wrong for that one. I can't it's even give him wrong. Yeah. Because I saw the BMW guy has the name red, so I was like, oh, okay. "Yeah, it was the fucking Mitsubishi." <laughs> Speaking of all races, meet you owe me a submission. Allegedly. Today. Well, the deadline is tomorrow. What do I even fucking do here? Yes. Like, what's he moved? I don't know. I don't know what's going on in this damn game. <laughs> it's not like a complete end game yet, but like, what the fuck going on? A rook for a rook. rook oh. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. You know what Digimon I like? Which one? Digimon. Um, you have, have you guys, how much experience do you guys have? Actually, Jonathan's watched Digimon. Did you watch Digimon? Digimon. No, I did not watch Data Squad. Okay, that's fine. I don't remember. I don't think Data Squad was that good. But like, there's chess themed Digimon called Pawn Chessmon. And like, Pawn Chessmon turns into like, there's like two Pawn Chessmons. There's a black one and a white one. And then they both turn into knights. And then after turning into knights, they turn into, um... Like they each turn into a different one where one turns into a rook and one turns into a bishop. And then eventually I believe like the white one turns into a king and the black one turns into a queen and it's cool. Oh that's nice. Yeah, I, I, fine. I like fucking Agumon. Like, I don't know what you want from me though. <laughs> I like Gilmon. Gilmon's nice. Which is the one that um is it Patamon? Is he cactus? That's Togemon. Oh, I love Togemon. Togemon, I mean it's a cactus that punches people. Yeah, something. like, well, see one, dude. Honestly, I mean, it feels vaguely racist. What? Explain. I, anyway, here's Pawn Chess Pawn. <laughs> <laughs> we just gonna move on. Like on I'm looking for Night Chess Pawn now. I can't spell. Y'all really just ain't talking about <laughs> shit. Yeah. No, we, we run through all the good shit in like the first five fucking minutes, dude. <laughs> Sounds like it wasn't good shit, but... No, we talk about the boat getting unstuck. We talk about the COVID updates. We talk about my cats going to the bed. That's all the good <laughs> shit, dude. By a lock off this podcast, boy. <laughs> no, he's only planning to go for like a half hour, but like... Okay, I'll resign. People mm. showed up. I had to play chess for the next half hour. <laughs> I really fucking <laughs> No, sir. Yeah. Not at all. Ali, Ali, the whole plan was to just play chess for 20 minutes and that would be the podcast. Yeah. We end up talking for a little bit. But yeah. Oh, fuck, I'm supposed to be playing Among Us. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <Among us. laughs> well, that's as good an excuse as I need to fucking end it here, fellas. Let me get close to my <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant episode as always, fellas. <laughs> I feel like you really brought your best foot forward, specifically in the first five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to the first five minutes of this episode. Don't listen to anything else. So we got close remarks. <laughs> Meet Squid. Yeah, it was a good time. I was glad I was here throughout the entire thing and contributed massively to the success of this episode. Thank you, Nicola. Lachlan. Smiling by all Davis. Oh, uh, Kale. Whatever the fuck the first five minutes was. And I will see. Um, this week's thumbnail has not been made yet. I have to go do that now. Nice job, right? Yeah. No, cool. You had some Great come job up. for everybody involved. Cool. You had some come up, so you're not doing it this week. So I'll just throw something together. And then... Uh... You know what? 
start off with half a thumbnail and then I'll do the next half and then like I'll do the next half and next I'll do the next half. How many halves did having this down anyway? No, hold on. I like the idea. Yeah. Everybody do a quarter. Uh, yeah, we we do that. We'll fucking do that right now. Yeah. Right now, I have to play yeah. Among Us. You could do it while we're no. playing Among Us, bro. Just like dive. Just this. put the Among Us guy I'm in. Not good <laughs> Among Us to do that. Just I'll put do. the Among Us guy in. It'll be fine. I okay. can screenshot my Among Us game. Actually, I'll just do that. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Send it to me, and I'll I'll do everything together. Okay, that's the plan. And yeah, thank you for coming out, everybody. It's a short one this week. We're back again next Saturday. Until two, next two, time. I don't, I don't want any song. I don't, I don't want any song yet. Until next time. This has been BT Podcast, episode number 28. Oh, is that that video of like them, pl- of like Attack on Titan episode 67, but with Beyblades? Yes. <laughs> ah! Good job, Rogan. Experience. Ah! <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you fucking do that? I didn't know what to do it with this face. Okay, good night. <laughs> the first not. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. Don't do it. I swear to God. Okay, good night. Okay, good night.